Hey guys, it's Mark from Migrant Professional. And so in this video, I'm going to be kind of answering the question, why does fluorescent lighting cause migraines and headaches? So it's really important for us to kind of first understand um, sort of the spectrum of light. And so when we are outside, there's sort of like an even spectrum of light. Uh, when we're in incandescent lighting, there's also an even spectrum of light. But fluorescent lighting actually has a very, very choppy um, sort of spectrum. So we can actually get um, what's called one di diplopter less visual ability inside of fluorescent lighting because it is so choppy in its spectrum. So this causes our eyes to work much, much harder and have to work much, much harder to actually see things, make things out, read things, make uh, the solid world around us. So if our trigger levels are already so high that our brain is on kind of high alert, it's already um, sort of struggling to function and to work properly and um, our brain cells are kind of on the edge of fatigue, then this extra stress from all these this fluorescent lighting is that little bit extra that we need to kind of trigger that uh, cascade effect and that migraine just taking over, kicking in, uh, saying no more, you get some pain, um, and then rousing up all of these healing resources like growth factors, uh, bringing oxygen and, and blood sugar to the brain to kind of uh, speed healing. So it's really important to understand that fluorescent lighting is a very poor quality of light. Uh, and so we want to kind of steer clear of that as much as we can. Um, and we want to make sure that we, let's say, support our vision with high quality vitamin A, like, like is found in beef livers, retinol. Um, it's really good for retina. And we want to make sure that we, uh, outside of any time that we have to be in fluorescent lighting, we, we work on vision exercises, so we work on focus and things that make our, our vision have to focus really hard. That will help kind of train our eyes and keep our eyes strong. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we lower the stress on our brain. So all the different little things that we can do to kind of lower our trigger levels so that we're not as close to our threshold and support our foundations, our foundations which are always trying to take away the stress, always trying to take away the stress and triggers um, from our body and kind of detoxify them, repair the damage and, and make us stronger and more resilient. So yeah, it's important to, to understand that because fluorescent lighting is such a poor quality of light, that's why it, it causes our eyes to strain harder and then it's that little bit that our brain needs to kind of trigger that migraine. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, do, do fluorescent lights trigger your migraines? Uh, make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe in the bottom left. Thanks. Hey, it's Mark from Migraine Professional. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe in the bottom left corner um, and head on over to the website in the description if you want to learn more about migraines and headaches than you've ever known before. And so let me know, how did I do in the video? Thanks.